Brought to you by Moultrie Mobile. Also by Growing Deer. I'm a guy that likes to leave my Moultrie Mobiles out year round. Now still hunting season here in Missouri, we go to January 15th and some states closed at the end of December. Some states are open into February, but I'm leaving my trail cameras out year round to learn more. And one thing I've learned throughout the years is scrape use will continue throughout the year. It gets really small and only a few scrapes during the warm season, you know, velvet time, all that stuff. But some people think scrapes are not a viable hunting location in the post rut. And it's easy to understand why, you know, scrape usage builds up research after research, including mine back when I was in grad school shows this to right before the rut starts at the peak of the pre rut when not many does are receptive bucks are checking scrapes all the time. As soon as we get that tipping point and enough does are receptive to call out the rut, they abandon scrapes. It's more efficient to find a receptive doe just by, you know, going through the timber with your nose to the ground or in the air, trying to find that receptive doe. But once that goes back over that bell-shaped curve and not many does are receptive, like right now in most areas, only female fawns and the does that weren't bred during the rut are becoming receptive. They're going to open back up those scrapes at that communication point, if you will. And we've had some really cool motor images recently of bucks using scrapes, which tells me it's time to get back out there in those stands or blinds I had along those travel corridors where there's scrapes and hunt those locations again. You need to be aware of the strategy you need to use at each week during the season to capitalize on your best opportunities to see a buck. And one way to know what you need to be doing where you're hunting right now is use those trail cameras to monitor the deer's behavior.